these uh, these uh, efforts of this uh, these institutions which are dedicated themselves to undertaking not that their efforts were so haphazard or or extreme the real issue is what compels them to be so extreme and criminal. Um, when they're competing with an underlying obfuscation of the currency, which itself perpetually multiplies undertaking at an inherently escalated rate, be, even beyond terminal failure, uh, it's not surprising that we have all these further endeavors all around us. But they aren't the thing to stop our focus on. We have to look deeper. We have to look at the cause of these things because it's the obvious, the purposed obfuscation of the currency which which precipitates in the conditions which these further crimes only hoped futilely to contend with. So... There is there are further ramifications to be suffered, um, immediately even, and uh, if in, if we are not ready to recognize the fundamental causes of these things, so that w we resolve them, uh, adopting their only solution, then uh, there's no point in 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 paying any attention at all to any of these matters because uh, we've as much as given ourselves. Uh, our own kiss of death. AIG was another hub. If AIG had stopped, you know, all planes may have to be, you know, stop flying. On September 17th, AIG is taken over by the government. And one day later, Paulson and Bernanke ask Congress for $700 billion to bail out the banks. We're coming together. They warn that the alternative would be a catastrophic financial collapse. In retrospect, too, then, we can hardly think that uh, these manipulators, uh, purported regulators, were on top of the situation. Here they are, turning around about face. Everything's under control. Everything's under control. And all of a sudden, uh, we have a potential catastrophe on our hands. No. Uh, you know, uh, what they've done, in fact, is gone on their merry way, uh, reciting the lie of the terminal system of exploitation into its dying day so deep that uh, um, they're uh, perhaps uh, surprised, I say perhaps surprised, uh, by the sudden uh, potential failure of the entire system. But uh, if they were surprised at all, uh, you know, the chairman, every chairman of the, the Federal Reserve uh, um, uh, since Paul Volcker has been apprised of mathematically perfected economy, I've even had people tell me that uh, uh, they're absolutely certain that they have my uh, computer models that I provided the Reagan administration, which, of course, uh, project inevitable failure. Um, so this idea that they're surprised, which, uh, you know, uh, they're trying to deny on one hand in which uh, their actions actually admit on the other hand um, is 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 evidence that uh, you know that they they can't save us uh, that they aren't saving us that they're merely pretending that they're in a position to save us and that they have powers to save us and that they know the way to save us none of this has been shown to us ever you know we, we never in the news, in, in in any interview, do, does one of these criminals against us uh, ever uh, provide even an explanation how it is even possible under any practical implementation of this obfuscation of the currency merely to maintain a vital circulation without accumulating an ever escalating sum of ultimately and inevitably terminal artificial indebtedness. Not one of them can explain to intelligent people's satisfaction how it's even possible to survive this obfuscation of our currency, this purposed system of exploitation without suffering terminal failure. And here, in the end then, Nonetheless, they're asking to save the peripheral banks, 
which merely interface with us, you know, uh, as a as a as a as a means of 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 a further perpetrating uh, this crime against all people, not just of our own countries, but of all countries of the world. It was scary, you know, the entire system froze up. Every part of the financial system, every part of the credit system, nobody could borrow money. There was like a cardiac arrest of the global financial system. I'm playing the hand that was dealt me. Uh, a lot of what I'm dealing with, you know, I'm dealing with the consequences of things that were done often many years ago. And so what he has just offered us is a reflection of the pretentiousness of the man and his position. Of course, he would have always been dealing with a hand that was dealt him, as of course all of us do whenever we take over a job. But when we take over a job, uh, the consequences of which are so vital and the conditions of which are so destructive. And when it, anyone and everyone can look around ourselves and observe that these conditions are a culmination of a long escalating process which continues to by all evidence, to escalate through the present moment by anything we can even conjure um, to act against it in complying with this obfuscation of the currency. This would compel any just person to reevaluate the whole system. And the place that we start, the only place to start, is the obfuscation of the currency. And anyone who has ever done a valid job of that inevitably discovers immediately that this obfuscation of our promissory obligations to each other is entirely unjustified. It's entirely unjustifiable because no one can ever demonstrate how it could serve any subject people because in fact it can only destroy them it can only destroy even their very opportunity to prosper we would discover immediately if we ever evaluated our job that the whole system needed to be rectified and so what the pretentiousness here that we need to recognize is is that this man instead is, depo is disposed to knowingly go on perpetrating the crimes, persisting in the crimes against us without, uh, without resolving them, without determining that indeed this whole thing is wrong. Instead, he's, he's, par he's continuing to participate in it as if he was merely uh, uh, the victim of, 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 of conditions which somehow he can, he can uh, rectify, get in order, although he can't tell us why. So we should be suspicious of this. And we should, we should in, in evaluating how we ourselves uh, uh, succeed in all of our regular affairs by other principles, we should see that this man, if he was genuine, if he intended to uh, resolve the issues which confront us, uh, he could only discover that he was participating in a crime. Now, if he's a good man, after all, the question persists, uh, why not mathematically perfected economy? How could you possibly injure the subject people by allowing them to uh, pay for their own production uh, with equal measures of their own production? How could that possibly injure them? Why would you stand in the way of that? Why would you not be volunteering to do that yourselves if indeed you represented the people instead of, uh, um, instead of obstructing their representation? How could you possibly damage the people by allowing them to pay 
a hundred thousand dollar home with a hundred year lifespan off at the rate of a thousand dollars a year or eighty three dollars and thirty three cents a month would that not stop our for so called foreclosure crisis which isn't a foreclosure crisis at all it's a it's a crisis of an obfuscation of the currency worse even yet it's an artificial and wholly avoidable artificial crisis of a purposed obfuscation of the currency which is why Paulson only pretends that he can do his job right eventually without rectifying the system as if uh, the present circumstances are merely circumstances which have been uh, passed on to him and can be resolved within the system. If he knew that to be a fact, and if any of us could know uh, this preposterous proposition could be a fact, of course then, he could and would provide us with absolute qualification of exactly how that would be to be done under the auspices of this ever unjustifiable imposed system of terminal exploitation. Secretary Paulson spoke throughout the fall and all the potential root causes of this, and there are plenty, he called them. The hell he did. The root cause is the obfuscation of the currency. The root cause is the cause of all of these debts going bad. People didn't just borrow excessively uh, into terminal uh, indebtedness. Uh, if they wanted to own a home, they were forced to try. When the system uh, of of inevitable failure uh, in, in reached its brink of failure and began to fail, they lost their jobs, they were unable to keep up with their mortgages, so on and so forth. The, 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 the prices of the homes were artificially inflated by this system. The ability to the very opportunity to receive just reward for our work was impeded to an ever greater and an eventually extinguished degree by the obfuscation of the currency. The obfuscation of the currency is the root cause of all these things. And if if Hank Paulson had ever pointed out all the root causes, he couldn't possibly have missed that one, which to perform his job, which is to represent the people, he would have to respond to then in advocating a mathematically perfected economy. Uh, so I, I'm not sure... You're not being serious about that, I, are you? I am being serious. What, what... And of course then, we're to believe that this person is just so seriously deluded. When in fact, if this was a serious response or a, a serious assertion. It would not have been an assertion at all. The whole pattern of, of serious communication necessarily is to qualify what we are to accept. So if we're to accept that Hank Paulson uh, identified all the root causes of, 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 of the present uh, uh, collapse, which is uh, an event which is just uh, inevitable to all that went on before it uh, based upon this and descending from this uh, obfuscation of the currency. If we're to accept that uh, he had, in fact, identified any root causes, much less all of them, 